Everybody's passing me because I go so slow. Sorry. Hi guys, I'm back in Italy since my last video and I've had this amazing video idea of me like going to the grocery store and just buying all the Italian ice creams that they have and do kind of like a taste test, I guess, which I've never done before. I was listening to the radio the other day and apparently Italians consume more grocery store ice creams than gelato, which is kind of shocking. So I wanted to show you guys what ice creams they sell here and I hope you'll find it interesting. There's really no purpose to this video except for me wanting to eat more than one type of ice cream. So yeah, I just got to the grocery store right now and I will see you inside. driving to my parents restaurant because they have a big freezer there I have mommy issues okay guys we're gonna start with this one and my sister is joining us she wants to eat the ice cream too no, it's tutto sciolto no questo deve andare in freezer ma Because I need money. Too hot here. 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 We're gonna start with this one. It's like a pistachio ice cream and an influencer, like an Italian influencer that I follow on Instagram says this is the best pistachio ice cream ever. Tell mama sono in TV. They're all melted. This is such a fail. By the time I drove from the grocery store till here, they all melted. So I'm just gonna put them all in the freezer and film it tomorrow. Okay guys, we're back at the restaurant, it's the day after and we're gonna start with the same one we were supposed to start with, this one. Apparently the reason they were all melted is because the freezer I put them in was not working so they all melted overnight and the employees put them in the freezer this morning. But I don't know how they're gonna look, probably not how they're supposed to look. This ice cream is based off a very famous cookie here in Italy. I already had this many times before but I'm still gonna try it as if I've never eaten it before. This is not how they're supposed to look like. Okay. Never born. They never disappoint. Eight out of ten. It's basically a chocolate cookie and a vanilla cookie and they have vanilla filling in between. Next one is this pistachio one that we were also supposed to eat yesterday but it was melted. I've never tried these ones before. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Mm. This is so good. I can't stop eating this. It's like vanilla on the inside and it has kind of like a pistachio cream outside and then it has pieces of pistachios all over it and then inside there's like more pistachio cream it's just so good i wish you guys could try this so this one i used to have all the time when i was a child basically this is a lemon popsicle and instead of a stick it has licorice so you can eat the whole thing it's really good it's just like 
a lemon popsicle. It's nothing special. I think the licorice is on uh, an XCI thing. Six out of ten because it's just a popsicle and I don't like love licorice. If you love licorice, this is your ice cream. Maybe if this was like a candy, I would appreciate that more. This is based off one of my favorite chocolates that they sell here that is coated on the inside with sugar and then it has coffee inside of it. So it's called a pocket coffee. Just like taking a shot of espresso, but it's inside of a chocolate. And this is the ice cream version of it. So I'm very excited to try it. I've never tried this before. It's like baby size. Looks like the Magnum. It literally tastes exactly like the chocolate and the coffee flavor is really good And you can still feel the crunchiness of the sugar. Yeah, it's, it's not nuts because it doesn't say nuts on the box So I think it's like pieces of coffee or like pieces of sugar, but 10 out of 10 because it tastes exactly like the chocolate. I'm back with another popsicle type of ice cream. I've never had this before and it's based on a very popular brand of iced tea here in Italy, which is Estate, which is the best peach iced tea that you'll ever drink. So if you're coming to Italy, I highly recommend you try this brand of iced tea because it's the best. Moment of truth. It tastes exactly like the iced tea. I think they just froze the iced tea to make it into a popsicle. It's not my favorite popsicle out there. I definitely wouldn't go for this one. Customers are starting to arrive and I'm really embarrassed. Very excited to try this one as well. It's a Kinder ice cream cone and this is based off uh, chocolate that they also sell. It has a layer of hazelnut spread on top and it has some pieces of chocolate and then apparently it has hazelnut filling. This is really good. 8 out of 10. I love that it's kind of crunchy here, like the um, chocolate top part here. I don't usually love chocolate filling. I prefer like a vanilla cone filling, but this one's really light. It definitely tastes like the chocolate that they sell. My sister has officially gave up, so I'm proceeding on this alone. This is an ice cream based off of Ferrero Rocher chocolate that I'm sure everybody knows because they sell these all over the world. I've never tried this before and let's see how it tastes. Cute, it's round shaped. really good. I wish they had like a vanilla filling instead of a chocolate filling because it's just too much chocolate. I think the chocolate tastes better than the ice cream and I think I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. Next we have this one which is called a Calippo and this is another staple ice cream here in Italy. I think most Italians have had this before. It's coke flavored like coca-cola. Basically you just like push it up and you suck on it. I actually have a very traumatizing story related to this ice cream. When I was in middle school, here in Italy, it's like a thing that after each school year, there's a big dinner with all the class and the teachers of the class and the parents of each kid. I was at one of those dinners at the end of my second year of middle school, I think. Like all the parents and teachers were inside the restaurant and all the kids were hanging out outside of the restaurant. And I got one of these ice creams to eat as a dessert, I guess. And I was eating it, like sucking on it because I didn't think anything bad about it. And some guy in my class, took a picture of me eating this like that and he basically threatened me that he would share that picture on Facebook and like show it to everybody including my crush and he's like but I won't do it if you'll kiss me and so my stupid little self thought that if I did that so that you could delete the picture and I won't get embarrassed in front of the whole school he fully lied to me after I kissed him like it wasn't a, like a tongue kiss I just kissed him like like this but still like I didn't want to do that and then he didn't delete the picture he sent it to all the other guys in my class and then all of them started showing me the picture for me to give them a kiss in order to delete it and I've never had this ice cream ever since this is an amazing popsicle and I gave it a 9 out of 10 I moved inside the restaurant because it was full of people outside and I was very much ashamed the next one it's one of my favorite ice cream. Isn't this the most useless video you ever watched? Let's try it. 10 out of 10. It's amazing. It has this outside made of uh, hazelnut, meringue, and like cookies. And then it's coated with chocolate. And the inside is like cherry filling. And the cherry filling is the best part in my opinion. Okay, next one is this one, it's called Cucciolone, which is like big puppy. 
I guess in English. That's like a comic drawing on each one of these ice creams. Let me show you. It's really simple. It's just like a little cookie filled with half vanilla and basically it's like a cookie. And then it has a little comics, like funny comics on top of it. So this one says, you're really good at being a dog. And the dog's like, thank you. Okay, I wanna try this. This is a good eight out of 10. The cookie is really good. And the filling is really good as well. Okay, next is another Italian staple. It's this, it comes in a cup like this. You open it. And I don't have a spoon, I'm gonna use this fork that's on the table. But basically this is what the inside looks like. It's a vanilla cup and it has black cherry swirls. These cherries are amazing. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. And the best part of this ice cream is that at the bottom of it, or at least that's how I remember it. Let's see if it's still the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's meringue, so it's like crunchy at the bottom. Mm. That used to be my favorite part as a kid, I would just eat the bottom of it. This is a good thumbnail picture. Okay, next is another classic. This is like the most basic Italian ice cream, you'll find it everywhere. It's just like a regular ice cream cone and it's one of the best ones. I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10 without even eating it because I already know it's amazing. So here at the top it has hazelnuts and then it has this crunchy chocolate on it and then it has vanilla filling and a cone. 10 out of 10. I, could, I can eat this every day. Actually, I have like the mini version at home and I have one of these every day. Next up is another one of my all-time favorites. It's this one, it's called Fior di Fragola. You know, fun fact, when I was a child, my parents owned this restaurant um, where like the restaurant was at the bottom and our house, like we lived on top of the restaurant. Every morning, me and my dad would go and get ice creams from the restaurant as breakfast. So that's why I am a ice cream expert, according to me. Anyways, this one is special because you have a little bit of everything. So the first part right here, the top part is a mix between the strawberry popsicle and vanilla filling on the inside and then you only have vanilla filling here so you get to just eat the vanilla on itself and at the bottom it's only the strawberry popsicle so like you get the best of three worlds vanilla and popsicle just vanilla and the popsicle isn't this genius and not a the next one i've never had before and it's this pandistelle ice cream cone which is a very popular cookie brand here in Italy. It's one of the best cookies out there. It's a chocolate cookie with these sugar stars on top of them. Ta-da! Wow. That looks amazing. Look, cookies on top, and then it has vanilla filling, the chocolate on the sides, and the chocolate cone as well. Mmm. First impression wasn't so good for some reason because the cookie was kind of soft. I was expecting it to be crunchy, but the more you get into it, there's like cookie filling all inside of it and it's really good. So I think I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. See, most brands have done an amazing job at like making their products into ice cream. Can't wait to be done with this because I'm about to throw up. This is Loacker ice cream and I've never had this before but I love locker cookies, so I think I'm gonna love this. It says it's made with milk from the Alps. Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this! Chrissy, wake up! I was expecting like a wafer type of cookie, but I guess let's eat it and see what it tastes like. So it has that distinctive locker flavor, like that kind of cinnamony flavor. It's not very crunchy, it's like a soft cookie, but it's really good. I just love crunchy texture, so that's what I was hoping for, but this is really good as well. I give this one a six, seven out of 10, and the milk from the Alps tastes like any milk, so I don't get the hype. Okay guys, we're finally at the last ice cream of the night. This one is another one by Ferrero, and this ice cream is based off the Ferrero balls, like the white balls that have coconut all outside of them. It has coconut all over it and white chocolate coating. Nine out of 10. 
perfect. It's exactly like those chocolates. Only thing is missing is the hazelnut. You know how there's the hazelnut in the middle of the chocolate? This one doesn't have it. Just a vanilla filling. So maybe if they put like a hazelnut right in the middle of the ice cream, it would be good. I finally finished all the ice creams. I ate something like 20 types of different ice creams. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you'll excuse me right now, I'm gonna go throw up. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.